Hey there, fourth grade. Going to work today on naming points, lines, line segments, rays, and shapes. Uh, learned a little bit about those yesterday. And mathematicians name those things in a certain way. And I want you to be comfortable uh, seeing and working with those names. So make this the next title on your next page in your math notebook. When you're all set, close up. Give me your full concentration. So just quick review. Um, yesterday, points are just like one spot, one little point in space. Um, lines go through two points, at least. And they go on and on and on and on. I see if I miss, I just make a bigger point. They go on and on and on and on forever in both directions. Line segments connect two points but do not go on and on and on and on forever. They start and end on both sides. Rays connect two points. They go on and on and on forever in one direction, but not both like that. And then shapes. Um, the only little thing I added about shapes yesterday is, you know, if I draw, say, a rectangle, to start thinking of that as having a point at each vertex, and being made of, say, four points and four line segments, rather than just four sides, or, you know, a triangle, having three side, three line segments and three points. So that's kind of what we added yesterday. So let's move on to naming those things today. So first thing to know, similar looking page here, um, points get named with a letter, typically. So you'll see a point, and most of the time it'll just have a letter name to go with it like maybe that's point h so that way if there's two points and one of them's h and one of them's i you know which one we're talking about i can say go to point h or go to point i so they often get named with a letter um lines since lines go through two points like we said like that um again those points typically get a name like a B, C. And then, so this, when I want to talk about this line, there's like a name, a naming symbol we use to name. This is called line B, C. And it gets a little thing like this. You draw a little miniature line above the letters B, C. So this, I would call this line B, C. And that's the symbol for what I'm talking about. So like in a question, you might see, you know, go to line B, C. I don't know, we wouldn't need to put line because that's in there. So go to line, you just know that this means line. And it means the line that goes through those two points. Okay. Line segment, same thing, since they go, they kind of connect two points. Maybe this will be points Y and Z. They get the symbol line segment Y, Z. So this is the symbol, kind of like in words, about which line segment I'm talking about. Rays, same thing. Um, so I want to go back to these before I get to ray. Well, let me do the ray, and then I'll go back, and then I'll come back with that. So again, rays have like a starting point and another point they go through. So if this is maybe RS, um, let me come back to this ray. So, for, so this, this is line BC. It's also line... CB, it doesn't really matter which way the line segment goes because it doesn't go in a direction. I can think of it going this way, BC, or I can think of it going back this way and being CB. It doesn't matter. Same thing, line segment. I could also say this is line segment ZY rather than YZ. It doesn't really make any difference if I think of it going this way or this way. So on lines and line segments, the direction of the points doesn't matter. On rays, it does matter. I can only call this ray. Oh, it's too big. I can only call this ray R S uh, because it kind of shows that the R is at the side that ends, and the S is on the side that keeps going. I can't call this ray S R. Ray S R would have to start at S and go through. R like that. That would be Ray SR. So Ray's the order that you put the letters does matter. Okay. 
And then shapes, you know, if I have a triangle, and I'm going to name the three points that make that triangle. Um, let's go with uh, H, I, J. I might call that triangle H, I, J. And again, here it wouldn't matter, the order. I could also call that triangle I, J, H, or triangle J, H, I, or J, I, H. Wouldn't really matter. Any order you want to put the points of the triangle in, don't matter. Um, triangles get this triangle symbol. If it's a quadrilateral, uh, they don't. I don't have a little, there's not, you don't, I don't know why that's not the symbol for quadrilateral that I know of. It might be used. So there you would just write quadrilateral ABCD. And it just says the quadrilateral made by those four points. Okay. So that's how they work. Let's do a, a problem with some so you can see maybe a question you might be asked. So here I've got some points here and some things I'm going to draw. I'm going to change colors often because it'll help. So let's see. Let's start here. So this is draw. This picture means line segment, E, H. So I'm going to draw a line segment from E to H. That is line segment, E, H. Next one, draw a line, <coughs> F, G. So I'm going to find F and G. I'm going to draw a line through those. Now remember, a line not only connects them, that'd be a line segment, <coughs> but it keeps going in this direction, and it keeps going in this direction. <coughs> that is line FG. All right. Draw ray HF. So remember, when I see the ray, HF means it has to start at H and go through F, because its rays have to be in a certain order. So this one has to start at H and go through F and keep going in F's direction, but not keep going in that direction because it's a ray. So that is ray HF. And last but not least, I'm going to draw a triangle E, J, I. So that means I'm going to find E, J, and I, and they're going to have a triangle defined by those three points, E, J, and I like that. It's kind of a curvy triangle, which it shouldn't be. You can do better than that. So that's just some questions you might be asked, and I just want you to be comfortable looking at this language, these symbols, and knowing what they mean. Okay, open up your math notebook, and let's, um, let's add the um, convention here, how these work. So I'm actually going to go back. You can just use the examples I did here. On the I do page, I want you to know how all of these work and how they get named and how the symbols work. <coughs> so I'm going to just pause here. I want you to pause and you can write these down so that you have examples in your notes of how each of these things are named. And when you're done, unpause and I'll just keep going. Okay. So your other we do, let's do an example where we draw some. So I'm going to go ahead and draw these points in your notebook. I drew Q, R, S, T, U, V, kind of in a, a roundish shape, arrangement. So go ahead and do that. And again, I'm going to change colors often here. If you have colors, you may want to also. So in red here, I'm going to draw a line. It's supposed to be a line symbol. I'm going to draw a line, R, S. So I'm going to find R and S. And I'm going to draw not a line segment, but a never-ending line through them like that. That is line RS. In orange, I will draw ray VS. So ray VS is going to go from V through S. So I've got to start at V, and when I get to S, I keep going and going and going and going and going and going and going. 
You'll notice this would be a lot better if I had a ruler because I end up making kind of curvy raisin lines. If you have a straight edge and can trace it, they come out a lot better. But you can't do that on Promethean, so I guess I could use my tool. Uh, all right, in blue, I'm going to draw a line segment QR. So line segment, I just connect, but I don't keep going. QR, just like that. And last but not least, how about rectangle? I should probably say quadrilateral. I don't know if it's going to be a rectangle. Draw quadrilateral QSTV. Let's see. Q to S to T to V. QSTV. And now that's not a quadrilateral till I close it up. So it's really QSTV back to Q. You do have to go in that order on a quadrilateral. I can't just say, okay, it's going to be those four points. I can't connect them in any order I want. I can't make it like this. This isn't a quadrilateral. So when it comes to some of these, you do have to do them in the order it says Q, S, T, V. Or you won't have a quadrilateral. You'll have some weird other thing. All right, so that's it. I just want you to be comfortable with all this language and all these symbols to know what they mean so when you see one, you don't um, worry about it or feel like it's something complicated or confusing, okay? So once you've got these written down, you're all set, um, and I'll see you tomorrow.